Alright, uh, this is how to lower and widen an ATV. Well, this exact ATV is a TRX 250EX from Honda, but this should probably work on any ATV that has independent suspension. This is only on the front, not on the back, because I don't have rear independent suspension. But here's how it normally looks, but I have it jacked up with this lever. But here's how it normally looks, with it all extended out real low it's up nice and high but then this side this is my test model that I've made with cutting board it's like cutting boards are pretty strong but all I've done is drilled a hole it was right here put a hole in there replaced it put it out wider and as you can tell that one's closer and because we know if you're taking geometry class you'll know that that because of that angle, because it's closer to straight, means it, the tire is sticking out a little bit farther. This is mainly a video on how to lower it, not so much as to widen, but widening also comes with the lower. I know there's like Diamond J kits that are like 200 bucks, but I'd rather do it at home. So now I'm gonna, I just bought some scrap metal, or not really scrap metal, but just bought some bar metal, all these washers, bolts, and I'm gonna make it with metal. And this is how I'm doing it. Alright, and here are the four sections I'm going to use, one, two, three, four to widen it. It's one and a half inches tall, so that's it. But here's front of it, back of it, front of it, back of it. Mine are five inches wide exactly, because that's just what works great on the 250EX. Alright, got them all four cut. They're pretty exact. This one's a little bit longer, that one's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I just got off that other thing that was like a substitute for it. The shock's still connected on the top, but now it's time to find out exactly where I want this thing to sit. So I definitely want it there. Uh, how far down? Alright, now what I've done is I've put the one that I've drilled and I put it up against and I kind of like where I drilled it. It's not perfect, but I'll just deal with it. And then I've lined up all the bars next to it, behind it, taped them together so that they're all about the exact same. So I can have a very identical drill hole on them. Alright, here's what the final cuts look like. Because I already put one on because I forgot to record because I'm dumb. But then I realized I had to have to take it back off because these bolts that I bought don't fit the bolts that I originally had, which were these. So I had to go to the store and buy these. Alright, I have one of them on. Here's just kind of looking at how it sits after. Alright, I now have both sides done. Here's how they look. Here's the side of that line going up. That line going up through that one's not a crack. That's actually a sharpie line on it. And there's that one. I'll back up. I gotta go. Alright, back to the lattice again. This is how it looks when it's lowered. It's got a much lower, aggressive look. If you want to see how it was beginning, in the beginning, just scroll to, back to the end of this, and I mean to the beginning of this video. Alright, so that's pretty much how I sum it up. Here it is. It looks like a tiny little baby ATV right now. Here's front side, but 